Hey, how's it going? Today is 8th of February, Thursday, and we are taking a look at the market. What kind of book is available up there? I have uh, been taking a look this morning. I've been managed to find quite a few opportunities. Uh, let's begin by the, taking a look at some of the infrastructure projects, massive projects, uh, some of those. Uh, I think yeah, as of now it uh, would be completed, so it would be functional. Perhaps in the future they might make some changes to this project. But either way, let's take a look at something that was uh, completed in Poland. That would be this tool, uh, Spit Canal. Let's try to understand this uh, operator a little bit better. Uh, it's something I have uh, watched a video about yesterday, right? So, but either way, let's cover this uh, opportunity in more detail. So, I will be looking for financial metrics, right? And uh, let's try to understand uh, cost effectiveness. I don't know. I don't know. Security, perhaps that's one of those uh, mega projects when it comes to security, not necessarily fin uh, finances. As of now, not necessarily would work. Perhaps in the future, if uh, this. Uh, project will get bigger then it would work most likely right but finances as of now that would be something that a yeah, quick one that they manage complete uh, as of now not that cost effective so to say when it comes to operations but either way let's uh, take a look at this uh, project and let's try to understand uh, what this project is all about i'm gonna be taking this information from uh, the website that's called notes from poland uh, for people who like books, uh, perhaps that will be referenced a very, very, very influential book. But either way, so it might be a good article, let us say this way, right? But let's progress. A uh, government's flagship canal project was an uh, economical path to nowhere finds Polish state alter. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so perhaps we will not, uh, we won't be shedding the best light on this project. I think it's very good myself. I would be there with a shovel digging it myself if you would ask me, because they would be looking to solve a completely different problem. It's not economical problem that they're looking to solve, but either way, it's security problem they're looking to solve. But we're gonna be taking a look most likely at. Uh, uh, pushback, right? So we're gonna be taking a look at pushback and uh, some more of the economical metrics most likely. So let's take a look at uh, critics <laughs> What critics have to say about it, right? <laughs> One of the government's flagship infrastructure projects is uh, it's always, So perhaps it's written from someone in the UK most likely so I have uh, uh, high hopes for this article but either way and the channel allowing ships to avoid Russian water. So th th that's a security problem, right? So just in case uh, they would change their mind, so things can happen, right? And then uh, entire country might be landlocked, right? So that's an actual problem that they're looking to solve, right? Which opened last year, the service particular uh, channel, was economically unjustified. Just because of the years, I think it would take over 100 years of uh, make it uh, in the initial investment and uh, make it that uh, it's over 100 years i think it's 180 or something years right i think it's only four vessels that can travel to this channel as of now so there might be some improvements that needed to be made but it's functional so if there is a, we're talking about prototype right prototype work so they uh, now they can make some adjustments to our existing prototype and make it deeper or perhaps slightly wider they wanted to, and then uh, at least uh, they would have secure port uh, entry, right? In all unlawful spending, a state audit office was found in called the channel and uh, an economical path to nowhere. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of pushback going on, right? The Supreme Audit Office appointed uh, a soaring cost of the project would end up costing more than a double what was originally planned. And the fact that necessary work to make it an area port accessible to ships using the channel has still not been carrying out, right? <laughs> right, right. So there's a lot of pushback going on. Let's get on with this article. The 1,300-meter-long uh, channel cuts across the uh, virtual it, uh, thereby linking the Baltic Sea with uh, the Stula Ligin, the lagoon uh, that allows ships to pass between without having to go through the waters of uh, Russian Skandingrad exclave. It was opened last year on uh, 17 of September, University of Soviet invasion of Poland in 1939. Uh, in 
in the ceremony attending by President Andrei Dupa and Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. Dupa declared that the child is to be a great victory for Poland, for patriots, for those who understand the world's sovereignty. He called it a symbolic path. Okay, okay, that will uh, mean Poland no longer has to ask for consent of the country that is not uh, friendly towards us, those of parties not to be hesitant to uh, attack and enslave others. Well, okay, okay, so that, uh, so that's a security measure. <laughs> so it's not really like, uh, we're taking a look at uh, some of the economical metrics, but it's a security measure, right? All projects might be slightly but complex, right? where you actually need to raise uh, level, water level, and uh, the, the, there might be some difference uh, uh, between lagoon and whatever sea level is might be at the time. So the, the, the project itself is a little bit more complex and when it comes to widening uh, need of uh, bigger ships, uh, so it will be more cost effective. I think it could always be done later within the next five years or so. Uh, if anything, prototype is working. So uh, coming from this kind of side of things, uh, business side of things, right? At least prototype is working. <laughs> However, in its report published yesterday, uh, and I key wrote that the global of state security cannot be constituted a uh, justification of conduct contrary to uh, public law. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's a more of an issue, right? So I think more governments up there, as of now, should consider uh, building similar infrastructure projects if they can. Then it comes to perhaps uh, how much finance those kind of projects can generate, right? So uh, let's say I'm an investor, right? And I'm looking to improve this lagoon. So, and I um, might be interested in charging people for entering, going in and out. So that, that's an investment project, right? And uh, so I would invest uh, capital. So it will, that investment would potentially generate the yield that returns within the next 20 years or so, so how can I accomplish that? So even that one might be a sound decision, right? But uh, if we talk about governments, the uh, governments might, might be interested in different things. But either way, either way, that's how I'm saying. The investment projects and more governments might perhaps be interested in investing in those. But either way, it's audit found that the final cost of the project was almost $2 billion, uh, close to $450 million the, the euros. So, okay, okay. Uh, close to half a million of euros uh, compared to uh, initial estimate of uh, 808 million. Uh, calculated that uh, 381 million zloty it was spending in world irregularities with 213 million zloty spent in violations of the law. <laughs> okay, so there might be wild animals and uh, everything, but I don't know all the details, right? The auditor noted that even before construction began in 2019, the government acknowledged that the planned cost of the project will double, while the even 20% increase will make a uh, plant economically unviable. Right, right. So they kind of knew. It just, uh, I think, a uh, wave crash uh, to build some of those measures, right? How much uh, resources and energy required to build some of those resources, right? So not initial, perhaps, uh, what we can see, but the other measures and uh, having those in place, right? Among the problems identified by NIK were um, proper supervision of the government and, uh, by government agencies, where they resulted in irregular spending. As an example, it cited in the conclusion of 13 c contracts, the cost and the deadlines of these exceed the framework outlined by the government in the plan. Moreover, even the canal was inaugurated over a year ago, work has still not been completed on threading. A channel from the channel to the port of Al Black, meaning that uh, larger vessels are still unable to uh, enter the city port. Right, right. Uh, large infrastructure things can happen, right? Like <laughs> his findings was that the contract was concluded for the purpose of the trigger uh, that was nearly actually used. Resulting in there was an expenditure at almost 170 million slotted, right? So a lot of things happen. At least there's uh, checks and balances in place, right? But <laughs> things that can always happen, right? If you're interested in learning more, I have published a book where I'm taking a look at more sustainable way of living and or running your business out of the livestock enterprises and how you can potentially have those when it comes to you building your business and progressing from zero to first 10,000. Uh, that will be financial metrics and goals, yeah, how you can set those for yourself as well as work towards 
there's 10,000 data of financial metric and many business uh, should consider having financial metrics. One of those uh, ways, uh, not necessarily most important one, but one of the ways how to measure your success and how your business is doing, right? Uh, that and more I'm um, sharing within this book. Hopefully, uh, I will be able to share this book with as many people as I can. If it's something yourself you're interested in learning more, as well as understanding what we require of running this or similar business, you can find it in this book. There's going to be a code in the corner, company that side below. In response to NIKE's findings, the Infrastructure Ministry issued a statement to Business Insider reports saying that the assessment of the cost effectiveness of investment is not limited to economic dimensions, so long as the orienting role of a public interest must also be taken into account. The increase in uh, program value is due to the need to implement elements of the investment and use of technological uh, technologies that uh, were not envisioned as the concept stage in 2016 is added right uh, so the perhaps just because they have rolling bridges and everything uh, that's perhaps uh, for as long as there's a lot of moving parts um, I'm always uh, <laughs> how long moving parts will last what I mean maintenance cost of those moving parts even building a large infrastructure project I had to stay away from those but either way Meanwhile, the Minister responds to Maritime Affairs, uh, Marek, claims that an IQ reporter was political and part of vendetta against the government by officers of the Maria Mas. There's a lot of drama going on. <laughs> I don't know the details, but it sounds like drama. Uh, Banas was once of a member of a current government, but since they are taking over the NIK has become one of the biggest opponents. Uh, okay, okay, so uh, there's some, 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 some things happening there, right? But either way, so they managed to complete this uh, kind of large infrastructure project, which is kind of great. If they were to develop this kind of technology, they might be able to sell the similar projects to other governments, right? It's something I was taking a look at previously, that would be perhaps Malaysia or similar areas, right, where they would potentially sell similar projects to other governments, right? That would be how uh, as of now a lot of goods are moving through that straight right so perhaps there would be some opportunities there and uh, if anything perhaps this went over budget <laughs> i'm not surprised but uh, things can happen all the time right so what's important is that it works it's only for that i would say thanks for watching see you next one